Hi, this is JP Morgan. And I'm Ed Rudolph. Today on the Slant Lens, we're here at Ed's studio. He's a food photographer in Los Angeles, and he's going to show us his favorite clamps and... Gizmos. <laughs> you love the gizmos, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> he's going to show us how these relate to food photography, how he uses his clamps and gizmos to do food photography. So let's get started and see what we can do. Okay, so we've got a lot of different things to show you here. These are called A-clamps or spring clamps. You get these at any hardware store, come in a variety of different sizes here. These are great for anything from just holding little things, like maybe we want to hold a little bit of flowers to look like it's coming into the shot like that. We can oh, do nice. something like that. You can use this to uh, hold a little mirror to reflect light in, something like that, and put this on the table. You do it like that. I've often, I always do it like this. Well, you're probably smarter than I am. No, I think you're smarter <laughs> than I am, but that's great. So another one we like to use is, this is called the Wimberly. You can get this on Amazon or other places. This will clamp onto your table, or if you had like a tripod leg, something mm -hmm. like that, you can clamp it on there. Now you can take your fill card or mirror, clamp that in like that. You can move this around, position it just the way you like it. It'll stay wherever you put it. That's incredible. This is a nice item here. Yeah. That's really great. I use this all the time. Because you can stretch that out over the table quite a ways and make exactly. that work. That's yeah. incredible. Um, another thing we like to use, type of clamp, this is called the bar clamp. Again, these are available at any hardware store. These can open up to accommodate any, really pretty much any size. Let's say you were going to do a shot or you wanted to have a fork, and we can clamp down on that like this. Let's get a little too far there. Clamp on it like that. And now we can hold this with a C-stand arm. Bring this in here. a little closer to us here. And now we can bring this in to any place we want and kind of hold it in there like that. See, that's nice. Now you got to be able to control that fork. You're going to want to do this when you're doing like a fork's going into a pie or into a, a piece of cake or something. You want right. that fork to just stay in that. So we use these quite a lot. You can do all kinds of things with these. Um, they're just really easy to find. And those are some, yeah, home, both these first items, this and this, Home Depot items. Right. Um, another thing we use a lot is, say we've got a plate of food here and we want to kind of mark the position of it so that we can maybe take it out, give it back to a food stylist or a chef to, to make the food, to add more food onto the plate. We want to put it back into position. So one thing we'll do is take, these are just wood blocks. You can like get kids blocks. just kids blocks, yeah. And we can mark that, we can set that down. I like to use this one that has the curved uh, surface because it kind of gives me two points of contact. So now I know that I can take this out give it to the chef, out, and then I right get it in. back, put it right back in here like that, and we know that it's gonna be right in the exact same position that we set. Which is for. a big deal for food photography, because you're setting this out, you're gonna plate the food, get right. it all ready, and then you're gonna slide it back in. And a lot of times we might kind of preset our shot with a composition with just an empty plate, and we kind of know that we've got the plate here, maybe we've got a fork we wanna put up on the plate like that. We've got a, a drink in the background, and we've taken all that time to to set this up, and maybe we don't, we want to have it back in the same position when we when we do that. So these wood blocks can also be used if you want to take it and lean a fill cart on it, something like that. This gives you a nice ability to kind of move stuff around. Mm-hmm. Just do quick things like that. And you got different sizes of these. It's not just the round one. You've got a couple other sizes. Yeah, there. just these are again just kind of like a big box of uh, wood blocks that you can get from someplace, and then you know we can just use the different sizes there. Okay, this is another thing that's sort of a semi-homemade item. Um, this is actually a uh, kind of bendy arm with a clamp, and we, you can buy these uh, online. We can put a link for that. This is just a piece of metal that I bought at kind of like a scrap metal yard. It's kind of like a heavy piece really of metal. Heavy. Oh, wow. And this, you can see, will sit nicely on the table. This has got a magnet on it, so that just will attach there. And then I can take, let's say we want to go back to our flower here and have like a little branch come into the shot and we can hold that and then we can move this any, any place we want, kind of hold it. If we want to have it kind of come up like that, we can hold it. So these will, uh, kind of similar to our Wimberly, these will go and kind of hold anything you yeah, want. Yeah, the nice thing about that is you can get that in on set closer and mm -hmm. kind of work that on set there. We use that for our fill cards, have them come in if we want to have a fill card kind of coming in over the top mm -hmm. or a mirror in this case, things like that. So these are really handy, I use these all the time. Next we have made for clamps, and these can be used for a variety of different things. Um, we can go back to holding our fork again. It could be used for something like that. Uh, we might have like a tree branch we want to hold things. So this can just go right into our arm here. Just 
just another way of doing it. So again, we can get this positioned any way we want. It holds it nice and sturdy. Keeps it right where you want it to be. These yeah. can also be used to hold lights on stands if we want to take our fork out here. Oops. Put this back on our stand here or a tripod leg or anything like that. This will clamp nicely to there. Now we can put a light or a C-stand arm or anything like that on, onto this pin. Yeah, those there. are great clamps for a lot of different reasons. I, I was showing you earlier, I, I use them like this. Yeah, that's a, great, here. that's a great use. I just clamp this as tight as I can. Faster, faster, faster. <laughs> I'll just grab the edge of something like that. And now that just holds, I mean, it can be a bigger car. And sure. It comes to corner, it's offside and you can move that around. And it's, right. And if I wanted to, I would use that really cool thing that we don't have here, but I would. <laughs> Next video. <laughs> so another way we can hold little cards and things, this is just an L bracket that you can buy at any hardware store, really cheap, probably less than a dollar. And I'll take my little piece of uh, mirror here, or we also have shiny silver, for example, and I'll take that and I can lay this on the back of it. We'll take some tape, tape it a couple times across here. Just to make it nice and sturdy. And now this can just sit as a freestanding little thing that we can use to bounce a little light in any, anywhere that's, we want. That's a great item, just let's say like a couple of bucks at the hardware right. store. Right, and you can always take your weighted base here and throw that on top, it's just as a little extra yeah. security in case it doesn't fall over. It doesn't want to get knocked over, yeah. except, except our tape came off. <laughs> so one of the things sometimes we will run into is that this is actually shining a lot of light on the table here. Maybe this mm -hmm. is, we'll go back to our plate of food and it's providing some nice light on the food itself, but it's really kind of blasting the side of the, the plate and a little bit of the table here. So we can take our block and lift this back up and now it's hitting just sort of the food and not uh, spilling out onto the table. So the more you raise that up, it just gives like cuts it off from the food and right. the plate and just onto your food. So another way we can do this, going back to our uh, these are called a Cardellini clamp, and this is yeah, available so in a couple Carlini, different sizes. A small Cardellini. Whatever. Yeah, here's another bigger one over here. It does something similar. We'll get into that in a minute. But these are really great because you can use these to hold anything that you need to hold, be it a little fill card that go back to our fork, our, our flowers, things like that can hold it. So sometimes we don't want the fill card sitting right on the table, but we want it kind of up and over, kind of bouncing some light in like that. And, and this is a way to get it up off the table, you can hold it in your C-stand arm here. See, that's great. Those have so many uses. I mean, you just so many things you can do with a Cardellini. And it, they get very large, like this one is very large, so you can have an application that's you know, something bigger you want to get a hold of. Sure. So at first glance, these kind of look similar, the Mafer clamp and the, and the Cardellini, and they can do some similar things. But as you can see, this can open up a lot further than this can. So this can accommodate larger items, like maybe we have like a piece of pipe that we want to attach to this. In this case, be more food related, we can use our beer bottle here. We can actually use this to hold on to a beer bottle. And so what we can kind of do is just use it to kind of grab just the end of it there. And then let's say I want to do a shot where we're going to be pouring beer into a glass here and we want to make sure that the beer is going to pour in the same spot every time. Maybe we want to do a few different takes of that. Well, rather than hand holding it and then also trying to fire the camera at the same yeah. time and maybe you kind of don't have it in the right place, we could take our C-stand, bring that in, and because this has a universal pin on it, we can take that and put that into our C-stand knuckle here and use that as a way to pour the beer in a consistent place. I think our last one we want to talk about are, is the, these are a couple different names, either a duckbill clamp for kind of obvious reasons, kind of looks like a, a duck bill, or sometimes they call them a quacker clamp, like the sound that a duck makes. But these are available in a couple different sizes. This is kind of like a mini, this is a little more of a standard size. So I'm just gonna get a few things out of the way here. But a lot of times what we wanna do is have a fill card that we're using to kind of soften the, the shadows in a shot. So we'll put this up, and point. you can hold that for a second. And then rather than having this just leaning on something, and where it might get knocked over, uh, destroy all the nice work you've done with your food. <laughs> yeah, we can take a quacker clamp here, we can open this up, and this will actually hold on to our fill card, and then we can just grab this with our C-stand arm here.
Okay, tighten that up. So not only will this now hold it, but we know it's gonna be in the same position all the time. It's not gonna get knocked over. Sometimes we might actually have to have the card kind of like up and over the yeah, shot. Yeah, you may not want it sitting on the table. Yeah, you might not want it on the table at all. So we can raise this up, and now we can take this and angle it down, yeah. something like that. So now we kind of have light kind of coming up and over. And the last thing I wanted to show you guys was sometimes we might have this, if we might need it in a particular shot, really tight on our plate of food, excuse me. So we'll grab this. Let's say our fill card was here. And now this might make it kind of difficult to get in here and work on it. So one of the things we can do is just take this, kind of rotate it out of the way. And can it roll the right chef, back the in. food stylist can come in, do the, what they need to do, come, come back in. And we know this is gonna go in the same position. It just makes it easier on everybody involved so that they uh, can it's get in there and do what they need to do. So. Hopefully that helps. So there you have it, all of Ed's clamps and gizmos. Actually, it's not all of Ed's clamps and gizmos because he's got a great download over at thusslandowners.com where he's gonna teach you how to do food photography and he's gonna show you all of his clamps and gizmos and how to apply them to different food setups. We're gonna go over lighting, camera use, and retouching all in one video. Keep those cameras rolling. And keep on clicking.